Hi, this is Claire's cat, and we're doing Grade 11 Cat Module 2.4, Managing Email. So, if you want, if you don't have an email address, then do go and try and create one. It's easy. You go to gmail.com and create an email account there. Now, a lot of times when you try and do this type of thing, you will need to fill in a capture. A capture is similar to the picture you're seeing on the screen, and it's just to verify that you're really a human and not a machine. So here it's saying select all the images with statues. Now an, a machine would struggle to do this, um, but by making you do this, and if you get it all right, then the computer knows that you are really a human. Capture stands for completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. And um, why do we need it? Well, um, it usually takes form of distorted letters and words. Sometimes it is, or sometimes it's pictures. And the problem is that um, a lot of spam is automated. Spam is created by computers. And there are things called bots that search websites. And then they try and join mailing lists to sign up to blogs. And then once they've signed up to the blog, they get the email address from the blog. And then they send a whole lot of spam to that email address. So a lot of websites use tests to make sure that you're a human before allowing you to join up. Let's go through some of the skills you will need if you're using email. So searching your email, a good search is the quickest and easiest way to find any mail you may be looking for. To search, you just type in the search box and you click go and it's very easy. And you can search on multiple criteria as well. And you can click on your e inbox to, to list all your email messages. Sorting email messages. In Gmail, you can't do this. But in Outlook, which is Microsoft Office's webs, um, app for emailing, you can sort your emails. Flagging email messages. There are various flagging facilities available in Gmail. You can add stars and you can drag the icons you wish to use in the in use section. And then you can just click save changes. You can mark certain emails as important. And there's a tag to the right of the star that can be ticked to indicate that a message is important. You can group messages into folders. You can create labels and folders. And a label in Gmail is an organizational tool. And each label name acts as a folder, which is listed when you look at the folders on the right-hand side of your Gmail application. And Gmail has system labels like the inbox and starred, important, and so on. And emails are listed according to a label. An email can have more than one label, and deleting a label will not delete a message. You can assign a label and move messages to another label, um, which is easy to do in Gmail. And you can use the mail toolbar as well to add labels to an email. You can automate with filters and rules. So some emails you might want to be deleted without re reading them, or you may want to move them directly to a relevant folder. And so you can set up a search and then create a filter with the search option. So every time that kind of email comes up, like over here, every time you get an email from Xola Sapuka at gmail.com, then you can create a filter to make 
um, Gmail do something with that email. And a dialog box will come up and you specify what to do with those messages. You can have contact groups. This is a specific group of people that you communicate with on a regular basis. So you will create a contact group, which is a list of email addresses with a certain name. And when you start a message to the whole group, then the names of your contacts or your group will appear when you start typing the letters. And that's all for today. A short and sweet little video. Have a good week. Until next video.